Hey you guys, it is Ember Girl 120 and today is Tuesday, January 22nd, 2013. Today I'm going to be making a video response to Christina Horner's video, um, I've Got Book Guilt. I never thought she shared my book guilt. And what I mean by book guilt is, I have a stack of books in my room that's waiting to be read but hasn't been read yet, and I've got book guilt. I'm going to tell you about some of those books. So the first book um, is called Shada. It is um, The Lost Adventure um, by Douglas Adams. It's a Doctor Who book. I got this, I don't know how long ago, and I've actually started to read it for English class because we have to do an independent novel, reading novel. And um, so far I've started reading it. It's awesome. I just, I don't know why I didn't pick it up. I think I have this thing where I just like to buy books because they look cool, but then I never get to reading them. And this was one of those books, and I am actually reading it, and I think I'm going to start reading the rest of them. Um, so yeah. I thought I'd do the next two together because they kind of go hand in hand together. This is The Land of Stories, and this is Struck by Lightning, both by Chris Colfer. Um, this I got just a couple months ago, so I don't feel as bad about not reading that. Um, but I need to because it's a good book is what I've heard and I love Chris Colfer. Um, this, I feel kind of really guilty about not reading this. This is also by Chris Colfer who is amazing. It's a children's book so it probably wouldn't have taken me much time to get through it. And the fact that I met him and got it signed and I haven't read it yet and it's just sitting here. See that's Chris Colfer's signature. This summer I got to meet him, and this is when I got the book, and, um, I couldn't talk when I met him. It was kind of embarrassing. The next book I have is a classic book. I've had this book for ages. I tried reading it when I was younger, but, um, it just, I guess it didn't make much sense to me, so I don't feel too guilty about not reading it, but I think I can start reading it now, or I should have been to the point where I've read it already, but that is... Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Um, this is a really classic book. I love the Lizzie Bennet Diaries. That's awesome and I like the movie and I really need to read the book because it's a classic and it's a really good book and yeah it's just been sitting in my room forever and like look at those pages they're so cool and blue on the sides. <sighs> so the next book, two books, are books that have been made into movies. Um, this one I picked up this summer, I think. It's The Life of Pi, um, which they made a movie about recently. Um, I was going to read this because it looked really cool. This is before I knew they were making a, a movie about it or whatnot. Um, going to read it. I read, like, I bought this, like, two summers ago. What am I talking about? Because I had it last year in school. I read, like, the epilogue, and I guess the epilogue was just really boring, so I didn't want to read anymore, and I feel kind of really guilty because there's a movie now, and I've had this book for, like, two years. This one, I feel really guilty about not reading. Um, they have a movie about it, too, and I saw a trailer for it, and I wanted to read it so bad because Andrew Garfield was in it, and I love Andrew Garfield, so I got the book, and I was so excited when I got the book, and I never read it. And that is Never Let Me Go by Kazuo Ishiguro. I don't know how you pronounce his name, but I feel really guilty, especially for this one, because I was so excited to read it, and I had it, and I was so excited when I finally bought it. And this one I started to read. This is called Back When You Were Easier to Love. Uh, I got this one day because I really wanted to read a chick flick book. Um... Every once in a while I really like chick flick books and they're good to read and I just haven't gotten around to this one. Uh, I don't feel too bad about this because this was kind of more of a guilty pleasure book, but yeah. I still am going to read it though. The final um, book I got about two months before Christmas. This is a really big book and I am going to start reading this really soon because um, my parents were like, if we get this you should try and read it by Christmas and I never did. And this book is has a lot to do with um, something that I think is really awesome. It is huge. It, how many pages? Look. Over like 700, there's like 700 pages in this. 
and it is the great movie makers, the next generation, from the 1950s to Hollywood today. Um, it's about film, and I really love film, and, um, I got it to read because I like film. Never read it. And I'm really starting to work a lot on my filming stuff and whatnot, so should get to reading this soon. So, as you can tell, I have a lot of books that I need to read, and that is not even the end, because there's a whole another set of books over there on my shelves. I just really need to read. I just don't take these things into consideration. Before I end this video, I'd like to mention a channel you should all check out. So, my friends Zach, Evan, and Matt has this channel, and they call it Super Melio Bros, but it's on, um, a channel called N64 The People, and, um, it's where my friend Zach and Evan, they make food, and then they eat it and talk about video games, and my friend Matt, he films it and stuff, I think he edits it too, but, um, it's really cool, if you like food, you should go check it out, and if you like, um, video games, go check it out, um, it's really funny too, so even if you don't like both, you'll get a kick out of it, and, um, yeah, I'll... It'll either be right here, somewhere in a box, or in the box of doom below with the rest of the links and stuff. So go check that out. They're really awesome. And yeah, have an awesome day. And if you want to, leave in the comments books that you haven't read but you know you should have. Leave your book guilt in the comments. And have an awesome day, guys. Bye. Remember the time when we stole the whole day and nobody knows it, we took it away And it will be forever mine And it will be forever yours Now we own the night and it can't be undone We'll never forget how it feels to be young Cause it will be